Hello Internet, the uncertainty answer here, and today we're going to do a tutorial on making kind of a distorted nasty bass tone inside of Citrus using uh, FM Synthesis. So let's get started. Alright, so <clears throat> when I first uh, got started doing, uh, kind of playing around with, with uh, Citrus, all these kind of knobs were very overwhelming. I didn't fully understand what they all did, and I guess I still have a very layman's understanding of how this all works, but enough to make the kind of tones that I'm really looking for. Before we get uh, started, what we want to do is go here, and we're going to set everything to default. And turn it down just a little bit. And we have just a very boring sine wave. Now, what all these channels correlate to is this relates to the output of your operator one. So for instance, this is adjusting the level of operator one. Now what the additional knobs are for are for modulating the, the operator one signal to another operator. So as an example, let's uh, enable operator two and we can turn it up here. And now the knob is adjusting the amount of modulation from operator 1 to operator 2. How this helps us when we're making kind of that nasty bass dubstep tone is we can control uh, that level of modulation in real time. And how we're going to do that is we're going to go to operator 1, we're going to go to mod, we're going to go to mod X, and we're going to take all this, this line all the way down. So what does this do? means that when we adjust this value, we're adjusting the value of modulation. So you hear that kind of wobble tone. But as it stands, we've got just some very basic sine waves, so it doesn't sound especially intriguing. Um, go ahead and turn your pitch down. I usually take it down to negative 12 semitones because you're going for a bass sound after all. And what we're going to start off by doing is we'll get rid of this for now. We'll go to operator one and we'll start playing with uh, harmonics in the oscillator. Uh, usually for my primary frequency, uh, I stick with lower harmonics. And there we go. And you can actually see that the sine wave is morphing based on what we're doing here. I don't like putting stuff way out here because it gives you that kind of like really high pitched, almost hissing tone. We can sometimes add those things to other operators and make it sound good. Okay, now let's go to the second operator and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll make this into a sawtooth wave. And let's enable it. Okay, good. So we got our low end kind of specced and ready to go. Let's go into operator 3 now and we'll make it a almost sawtooth wave sort of feel. And here what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the frequency ratio. We can bring it up to 5, but you can experiment with this to kind of get the, the tones that you're looking for. And let's enable it. Okay, now we're getting warmer, uh, closer to uh, that kind of tone that we're looking for. We'll add one additional operator in. We'll make it almost sawtooth again. And we'll bring the frequency ratio up to, uh, I don't know, 8 maybe. All right, I think for the purposes of this demonstration, that will be sufficient. So, there we go. There's a few other steps that we can take, and this is usually what I do when I'm making tracks. Let's put in some bogus little bass line here. I guess, whatever, not really points for creativity here. All right, so we'll play it without any kind of like automation for the frequency, the, uh, the modulation levels. Okay, now what we want to do is let's go ahead and we'll minimize this, not close it out. We'll go back here and we're going to right click. We're going to say edit events and piano roll. And here's where we're going to make our adjustments to give us that real kind of wobble bass feel. And we're going to go to Tools, we're going to go to LFO, and we'll just start by adjusting speed. So we'll go in at four steps. 
and maybe we want to do a section at two steps and we'll shake it up just a little bit do two steps there back here go ahead and do four steps and maybe we'll close it with one step all right so we'll paint this in here off we go and let's make some bogus little drum beat let's go ahead and sign this to a free mixer track typically when I'm uh, mixing my primary instruments I like to get right around negative anywhere from negative 12 to negative 16 that just seems to work for me for whatever reason um, okay now the next thing that we're going to want to do is uh, to make it found a little fuller we'll throw a maximus on it and we'll just use some preset for now and It's not the most compelling tone in the world, but sometimes you can just you can fiddle with uh, the levels of frequency modulation. You can uh, fiddle with uh, adjusting the the uh, harmonics inside of the oscillator, and you can really craft the tone just to be what it is you're looking for. Um, next video, what we're going to do is we're going to take this concept a little bit further, and we're going to do some New York style compression on the tone that we just made, breaking out the low, mids, and highs of this tone and adding some different effects to it and hopefully making something that sounds sort of interesting. So until next time.